Hi everybody, it's September 25, 2019. This is a video about symptoms that I've been experiencing lately, uh, motivated in part by comments that I've received recently, two from upstate South Carolina, which is where I live, and one over the border in North Carolina, and they leave in comments asking if others in this area are experiencing uh, symptoms. And I'm going to be talking about some of the symptoms that I've been experiencing. We are now blasted with very dangerous frequencies. I'll be showing you some captures. But I've noticed that increasingly uh, the symptoms that I've been experiencing very strange and uh, well concerning because it doesn't seem to be letting up this is current radar current radar it's uh, 547 p.m. Eastern Standard Time. The, the changes in radar, well, that too has been increasing. 2017, I noticed, okay, the use of frequencies far more regularly. Uh, 2018, we certainly saw a change. 2019 has been off the charts. We didn't see even just a couple of months ago, radar shooting off as we are looking at it now at this hour in the afternoon, late evening. We saw it and it would usually begin 11 p.m., 12 a.m., and then it would get worse in the early morning hours. Now we're seeing it pretty regularly 24 7. And that does not uh, bode well for an awful lot of people living in these regions. I have noticed signatures that I don't even know what is happening. Now, you see the pulse in Nebraska, a very dangerous pulse right here. You see sustained frequencies coming out of Doppler radar. And you, what is this? Okay, it's going along the border of Nebraska, South Dakota. It takes on that microwave effect, the ripple. Is this blue precipitation that we are seeing? Really? Oh, okay. Well, we're going to hear something from meteorologists and they'll make up anything like, well, I guess it's not really dragonflies or it's not really... Uh, bats coming out of their cave or the ladybug uh, invasion or birds migrating. Uh, the idiocy that we are hearing on mainstream media is really phenomenal. That too has become, well, the increasing use of just, hey, why don't I just say whatever the hell I want to say? And, well, Americans are pretty much brain dead, so they'll just accept it. Um, First of all, that whole dragonfly, ladybugs, birds, bats, all that. Do you understand that if they were flying around, Doppler radar pulsing away, they would die. Boom. Gone. They don't come near. They try to get away from these frequencies. They don't swarm around them. All right. Uh, I don't know what I'm seeing. This is a whole new um, thing here. But we do know artificial intelligence, nanotechnology, operating, and it's operating in the atmosphere. So what this is, I don't know. But all of these pulsing Doppler radar um, and those that are not pulsing are very dangerous for all life. But before I get into 
the captures that I've taken. Remember the Cuban crisis, the American embassy personnel who were, they all uh, fell ill and had symptoms at the exact same time, even their dogs, and they had similar symptoms and they were checked out by doctors and scientists who actually published a journal article about it. Here, uh, neurological manifestations among U.S. government personnel reporting directional auto audible and sensory phenomena in Havana, Cuba. And then there was also an incident in China with a, an American woman who fell ill along with her dogs. So a journal in JAMA, you know, it's a known journal. Um, findings in this case series of 21 individuals exposed to directional, audible, and sensory phenomena, a constellation of acute and persistent signs and symptoms were identified in the absence of an associated history of blunt head trauma Following exposure, patients experience cognitive, vestibular, and ocular motor dysfunction, along with auditory symptoms, sleep abnormalities, headaches, all symptoms of electromagnetic frequencies that, yes, are used as weapons. Okay checked out by doctors and scientists, writing journal articles, published in that prestigious New York Times, and then, oh, it wasn't sonic weapons. It was crickets. It was crickets. Oh, I fall silent. All right, now, now it is, well, mosquito. It's a, it, it was a mosquito neurotoxin. Wow, a new study. Oh, and this was a, a new study. Uh, and so I guess these doctors, these scientists that examined the 21 who had symptoms. Well, sorry guys, uh, discredited, you know, just go on and do your work. Remain silent because new studies have shown they're crickets. The Society for Integrative and Comparative Biology. Do you think they're using frequencies on scientists to publish crap? I don't. Okay, crickets. Well, no, sorry. All right, now you guys just go back to work because you've been discredited because it is a mosquito neurotoxin. Okay, how do you, what, what do you do with all of this? Do Americans remember those doctor scientists? Do they remember? the journal article, do they remember reading about this in the New York Times? And then, no, it changes to crickets. Do they remember the crickets? Do they remember anything anymore? You know, look, everything has gotten worse. And if you've been paying attention, you will notice that things are being said, reported by main, mainstream media, even Trump. Oh. We're, we're victorious over ISIS and we're pulling out of Syria next week. Still fighting ISIS and we're sending more troops. And yeah, I could go through a list of, hey, but wait, we heard something very different yesterday, but what's going on today? And it was kind of like, oh, you know, I think back on 9-11 when we hear this 9-11, but 9-12, we hear, oh, a whole, well, missing, you know, the, the bombs, the explosions that people were hearing. Oh, okay. Um, do, do, oh, remember 9-10, Rumsfeld coming out. Ah, 
what was it? Um, was it $2 trillion missing from the Pentagon? Oh, well, we're going to forget about that because 9-11 sure did. Um, well, anything that you remember before 9-11? Maybe people have had their memories erased. Do you remember what this country was prior to 9-11? Wow, radical changes have taken effect, huh? Well, when you see these radical changes, then one must question how, what, what's going on. But when you see doctors, scientists, they are publishing journal articles, microwave weapons, New York Times, then it's crickets, then now listen to this article. When American and Canadian diplomats fell ill in Cuba, the Trump administration suggested that they had been attacked by some form of secret weapon. Trump administration? Doctors? Scientists? Well, I guess now, because most are brain dead, and the brain dead frequencies can do that, um, all right. Let's just say it was the Trump administration and, 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 you know, somebody in the Trump administration may have said that. But these 21 embassy workers were examined by experts. Uh, they were the ones that said microwave, sonic, infrasound. Hmm conspiracy theorists. Yep. Now we're going to go with conspiracy theorists. Well, I guess the conspiracy theorists are the doctors and scientists that published that uh, article in that journal, JAMA, but obsessed over the idea that they may have fallen victim to some form of sonic ray. Although Canada refrained from such suggestions. So it's you, my Canadian subscribers, you are, well, I guess more sane than we Americans because we're just conspiracy theorists here. Oh my God. Now a new Canadian study has suggested another culprit. Hey, a neurotoxin, which originated from fumigation against mosquitoes during the Zika epidemic. Don't you think more people would have gotten sick if it was that? Don't you think that the 21 affected who were symptomatic, uh, they would not have fallen ill at the exact same time? What, what has become of this world with the world's people? What the hell is wrong with people? Do they publish these articles to see if people are still thinking? Forget, forget critical thinking. Does it really take all that much effort to think, okay, 21 fall ill at the exact same time. They all have similar symptoms. They've got brain damage, permanent damage. And now they're claiming that it was because of, I guess, the pesticide spraying of mosquitoes. Well, don't you think everybody would be like, hey, they spray here. They spray where I live. Oh my God. Well, why aren't you falling ill? All right, I, I, I honestly don't know what to do with this world. I really don't. It's kind of scary. Well, look, I'm going to link below to some videos. 5G test result, birds drop dead, sonic, extremely low frequency attack symptoms, breast cancer, miscarriage, cell phones. Uh, you can check out, learn the biological effects of Doppler radar pulsating during storms, adding to electromagnetic frequency saturation, 
Um, here I've posted, see radar and sonic weapons in use and hear how life is affected and humans controlled. Underneath my videos, I link to everything, everything, and while I'm getting tired, I'd say 95% of my videos include facts and evidence. It's not my opinion. Facts, evidence, studies coming from experts, scientists, researchers, military, military. Um, here is microwave radar warfare expert governments. Governments are targeting people. Easily alter your mind. Biological effects of radars, millimeter, 5G waves, and why radar pulses powerfully at night. Well, now we're having powerful pulses during the day. And admitted military can control your thoughts, behavior, emotions, and you. And here are directed energy weapons in Cuba, beta test. And I have 357 videos on a playlist 5G microwave frequencies, Wi-Fi, health effects, and the majority of the videos come from studies, come from experts in the field, come from whistleblowers, come from my research, and, you know, people are dying. Trees certainly are dying. And I received an article, which I should have pulled up, um, plants dying, plants dying. And I never even got to read it, but I think it was in North Carolina. Yeah, well, the plants are dying and trees are dying. And it's not just the geoengineering, but couple all of the dangerous uh, nanoparticulates of chemicals and heavy metals. Throw in microwaves. Well, then you have a real deadly concoction. So, why can't we get through to people? When, and, and this is on every, every uh, subject, issue, agenda that we face. Scientists, experts, ah, but they're not on mainstream media. You know that mainstream media, they lie to you. You know your government officials lie to you. But that's where you get your information. And do people know that now propaganda is legal to use against Americans? Do they know how lied to they are on a regular basis? I don't know. So, um, let me just show you <laughs> what's been going on. This was taken at uh, 11.46 a.m. today. Today. Now, all the people in from uh, well, Southern Virginia on down to right across the board into Louisiana. How are you feeling? I'm also hearing from uh, subscribers in Tennessee. The frequencies in Nebraska, Iowa, South Dakota, in, in central United States. The uptick has been really quite surprising actually, because I would think that more and more people would be screaming about this, but it's because now something is very wrong, very wrong, noticeable on radar
so clearly we have a lot of dragonflies flying, I don't know, all over the place. Um, this was at, let's see, 1.12 a.m. I, I think I broke my toe last night, <laughs> no joke, and I was so exhausted, and I got into bed like at 11. Could not sleep, got up at 1. Now I'm hearing the buzzing so loud, high-pitched tones that sometimes really hurt one ear or the other. I'm hearing a high-pitched tone, and it's coupled with a pain in one ear or the other. And then very quickly, whatever ear I didn't hear it in, then I hear it in that with a pain. You see these crossing frequencies right down here. They are crossing very dangerous. So we've got Nebraska, we've got, uh, or I'm sorry, this is Oklahoma, um, and Texas blasting away. Blasting away in Kansas and Nebraska, and South Dakota. All right, all pulsing. So you've got the Doppler radar, you've got the extremely low frequencies. Uh, Washington, you're looking a little bit like you looked years ago to me. Uh, there's an uptick again in Washington in particular. Um, Northern California, when I had never seen much activity going on, now I see it on a regular basis. Um, look at this, one o'clock in the morning. Look at all of these Doppler radar, and well, they seem to be sustained, sustaining the extremely low frequencies. Are they using, yes, they can use this for mind control. But this was very concerning. So, I wish I was a fly on the wall in some office with all of these insiders talking about what what the purpose of all of this is. I don't know, but it's dangerous. It's very dangerous. So, some of the symptoms that I've been experiencing. All right, this weekend, Saturday and Sunday, I, Saturday during the day, I felt, okay, you know, my regular normal self. By the way, this is the 24th at 11.46. So they were blasting away for a long time. And you notice the difference, all of the green? That must have been all of those dragonflies. So at 11.46 p.m. last night, you have, well, storms that seem to be hmm, in alignment from Kansas, Nebraska, into Iowa, um, Minnesota into Wisconsin, you've got these extremely low frequencies belting away South Carolina, Georgia, into Florida, and a whole lot of what looks like precipitation, but those, you know, Weather Channel meteorologists, they said it was dragonflies at 11.46 p.m. So let's just go back to that other video at 1.00 and well the green seems to be quieter we still got the green but it's fading away oh maybe it's because the dragonflies they're captured as they're flying away or maybe they're dropping dead and that's what you're seeing as it just fades all right well this is 112 but at 1.12. I hope you notice the difference with this, the green uh, effect. 
They're greening America. It's climate change. All right. Um, so this is the 24th at 7 p.m. And I'm taking it because I've been experiencing so many strange symptoms uh, this weekend. Periodic flu. I had a periodic flu. It suddenly came on. Flu-like symptoms. And I couldn't... I The exhaustion now is beyond anything that I've ever experienced previously. I can't... I, I have to lie down. Can I sleep? No. And I did lie down. And then when I got up, I felt better lying down. I got up. It still felt like I had the flu in my legs. In my legs. I'm not kidding. Um, concentration is really becoming very difficult. Very. And it's concerning because one needs to concentrate. Um, but I see it, you know, as I try to organize for videos. I just heard a very bizarre, um, higher pitched buzz in only my left ear. I'm, I've been having headaches more frequently and my eyes, the vision, the balance problems, everything is definitely getting worse. Um, and please don't leave me comments about what you think I need to do. Please don't diagnose me. <laughs> um, and uh, there's no need, you know, I do what I can do to combat this. And please understand, there are a lot of people who now, they do not have money to purchase these products that a lot of people are suggesting and buy this, you know, even vitamins now, you know, are very expensive. Magnesium is very expensive. Vitamin C, the powder, you know, all of it. So, um, if you can afford, great, and do everything that you can to stay healthy. The one thing that I do do, and I have been doing this for a long time, is I eat raw garlic. Um, the flu-like symptoms are induced from frequencies. And by the way, I have a Gwen Tower about uh, a mile away. I'm feeling a lot of vibrations now. I can feel it right now coming through the floor. Extremely low frequencies from Gwen Towers. They go through the ground. So, um, look at these. Look at this. Look at this. I mean, you're looking at war. You are looking at weapons. These are weapons. And to the nut jobs who want to leave comments, you're a crazy nut job? No, actually, you are just revealing yourself as, I don't know, someone who's really scared of everything, I don't know, or you're pay chill, or you're just, well, you didn't get out of seventh grade. You know, you just want to throw out attacks at people because, I don't know, are you scared or, you know, do some research. Your opinion is not the same as facts and evidence. The, this, this at 1120 a.m. on the 24th yesterday. I want to know how you guys are feeling in this area. I want to know how you're feeling 
in this area up here because something has definitely changed. And whether it's the cumulative effect of all of these frequencies, um, uh, the combination between stress, frustration, and uh, just, well, couple that with all of these frequencies and the poisons that we're eating and drinking and breathing. This was at 8.54 a.m. on the 24th. You're looking at just... This is now close to 24 hours of dangerous frequencies hitting specific areas, targeting specific areas. The extremely low frequencies are the very straight defined lines. They can use these frequencies uh, to mind control populations, to physically incapacitate you, to make you sick. They can use these frequencies to control your emotional state, to control your mental state, to control you. So when we're talking about Agenda 21, Agenda 2030, and they're going to be controlling every aspect of our life, they are already. They are already controlling every aspect of our lives. Look at the American people. Look at what has happened to the American people. Now, I never thought that we were exceptional, certainly not morally superior, or all that grand. But I will tell you, I never imagined the idiocy coming out of American adults. Then, what? that's what we live now. That's what we live. So, look at all of these extremely low frequencies. And the extremely low frequencies Yes, they can entrain our brains with these frequencies. They can subtly change your views, your opinions. They can subtly change who you are and make you feel a particular way. In other words, what I'm saying is they are taking over your will. They're taking over your will, your free will. This was the 24th at 3.19 a.m. Okay, are you noticing that we're at war? We are at war. And these frequencies are being used. I have never seen radar like I have seen it. 2019 and 2019, it has become something that it wasn't even just a few months ago. Now it doesn't matter if they're experimenting or trying to maintain plasma, artificial plasma, um, because the effect it's having on all life is detrimental. You know, I, lately, and I do know myself. I know myself physically. I know myself emotionally. Um, I do know that I'm having a lot of cognitive problems that that I. I Either it is just the result of stress, and boy, have I learned stress is really not good for you, sustained, you know, chronic stress. I do deal with a lot of frustration over and over and over again. Um, but something, I just feel like, okay, Anyone who has been with me for years, you know that I was posting a lot of videos every day. 
every day. Are you seeing that I'm only posting one lately? Do you think I'm out and about living life? No, I'm sitting here at this computer. Now, don't leave comments, take a break, relax, whatever. You don't know what I'm living, so I'm not living what you live. I, those, all of those uh, choices have been taken from me. So this is what I have. And fortunately, you know, I am fortunate to have a lot of interests in terms of what's been going on in the world and that's been who I have been so I don't get bored I don't um, and I do feel that we are living war we are at war the analogy that I have in my head is soldiers you know fighting on the battlefield and you know they have the enemy coming they're shooting at one another and do you just sit back and no you keep going you fight like hell to survive, right? Well, obviously we don't have people coming at us with guns, but I will tell you something. These are guns. These are guns. And to read the comments below of how many people are really suffering, how many people can't function anymore, And then to learn that they're losing homes, they're losing jobs, they're losing social security disability. Um, they can't work. And most have no resources, you know, nowhere to turn. Yeah, we are at war. Those who have already suffered the consequences know it. Those of you who have not, you don't know it yet. It hasn't really changed anything. You're still kind of living your life as it was. But it's not how it was. Are you seeing what's happening here? And these frequent, this is where I live, right here, Anderson, South Carolina. How are you feeling? Please leave me comments. You know, I walk every day, though that, because I almost, I, I don't know what I did to my toe. I either really sprained it badly or broke it. So I'm not walking today, but, um, Virtually every day I exercise and that's been pretty much my life except for periods of not being able to but now One day it's fine and you know, I'm feeling like you know, I always felt but then the next day I feel like I've never exercised. I lift weights when I'm walking. I feel like okay I've never lifted these weights. I'm getting bizarre pains in my arms which I don't know what it is from. Um, so bizarre, strange, new physical pain. All right, well, look at what's happening. Look at what is happening to us. This is at uh, just about 8 p.m. on the 23rd. So these southern states are really i've noticed that all of us are getting blasted pretty much 24 7 now these are dangerous pulses that you're looking at all right so enough of me i'd love to hear from you um i guess you know the point i want to make is <laughs> the idiocy the abject idiocy that we are hearing out of mainstream media, it's going to get worse. We will get attacked. And yeah, we are absolutely 100% at 
at war, and they are using unconventional weapons against us. When you are at war and they're using unconventional weapons, many fall uh, in, you know, like, okay, the conventional war, they pull out a rifle, they shoot, and you're dead by bullet. You're dead by bullet. And you know it. And everybody knows it. Here, this war, everybody is experiencing the war. Some are going down earlier than others. Some are still not symptomatic, but they will be eventually. And others are experiencing symptoms of the war. Ah, but they're not attributing it to the Wi-Fi, the smart meter, the cell phone, the cell towers, the Gwent towers, and ah, Doppler radar and extremely low frequencies. Uh, they're running back and forth to the doctors and and then you have people who know that we are in fact and many many now say I'm going down so a lot of people have judgment and can't listen to people say that and they think well if they just did that they'd be better. So I'm not even going to listen to them. The judgment's got to stop. It's got to stop. Because you don't, look, <laughs> you don't know. First, in the cyber world, you do not know people. You don't know me. Um, so to, these judgments, where are they coming from? That needs to be worked on for every individual. Look at this. This is at 12.21 a.m. on the 23rd. Or 12.21 p.m., I'm sorry. P.m. P.m., okay? And look at these frequencies. We did not see this not too long ago. Now we're seeing it on a regular basis. It's been bad, guys. You know... And not everyone is identical. Hey, we all have our individual, our individual emotionality, our individual constitutions, our individual physical self, um, our individual brains. We all have different circumstances. We all have... Um, oh, life experience, and some have... Well, conditions that you don't have. So there's a lot of factors that make up one individual life. And if you don't know the details, if you don't know those factors, don't come at them with judgment. It just reveals that something is wrong with how you think. And yeah, people go down. They go down. People die in war. They're dying in our unconventional war. And it's, you know, hard to take, uh, but very real, you know. The 22nd at 12.31 a.m. You know, this has now been going on. It's day after day after day in some regions of the country. It's 24-7. 24-7. Look at this. Wow. Yeah, I can deal with physical pain and all that. What really concerns me is what's happening with my brain. You know, and look, I'm, I'm not interested, you know, I, I kind of um, coldly state the facts. I'm I, not interested in sympathy or anything. 
but when you are uh, not knowing what the hell you're doing, <laughs> well, yeah, you're like, okie dokie, and you're sitting here, and you're trying to make these videos because, yeah, a whole lot is going on, and you just can't when you always could. Okay. Look at this. Look at this push-up here, too, in um, Georgia. What we are seeing, boy, bad. It's really getting pretty friggin' bad. So for every one of you who are experiencing these symptoms, I am so sorry. I wish I had an easy answer. I don't. Um, but the cumulative effect of poisons, steady, steady poisons, eventually people go down. We're not, nothing is steady. Everything is increasing. Everything is increasing. Our food has been taken over. The water, well, you gotta buy it. And, well, I hope it's okay. I purchased the water, I hope it's okay. But you can't guarantee that it is. Um, yeah, those of you who have, you know, systems to filter your water, you're in better shape than a lot of people. What I've been seeing, boy, I, I it's got to be this nanotechnology they're using. You see the plasma stretching, you see you know, these eruptions of precipitation and they just, <laughs> well, they grow into very defined lines of precipitation um, or you know, they've got these blips of precipitation that all come together into one mighty storm. <sighs> well. Anyway, guys. I'd love to read that you're all doing well and you feel great. My hunch is a lot of you are really now hurting and suffering uh, from the symptoms of our poisoned environment. Poisoned every which way. I could go on showing you captures. I'm now at the 21st at 9.14 p.m. The one thing that others really appreciate is hearing from others, not just myself, but other subscribers. Um, please let them know they're not alone. Take a few minutes to leave a comment. Let us know how you're feeling, even if you're feeling okay. You know, uh, I'm not only interested in people feeling like crap. <laughs> it's God. Alrighty. Ciao, guys. Have a good night.